Hello everybody, welcome back to the guidance of the Modicon M221. In this video we are going to talk about online modifications. The online modification is the modification that we can make in our program when we are connected into the PLC. So let's go to the presentation. Let's continue with our application that we have with the conveyor belt. So in this case what we're going to try to replicate is that somebody has changed on the hardware of the machine they have changed the sensor, the normally closed sensor, to the normally open sensor so what we need to do basically is to connect to the PLC be online, connect, see if we are using the latest application then modify the logic, replace the normally closed contact for the normally open and then send the new application while we are connected. Okay, this is going to explain to you. Okay, so let's go to the software. Okay, so we can see this in detail. So this is the application that I have. Okay, what we need to do is to change this normally closed to normally open. But let's do this while we are connected. So in order to connect, we need to select the, the interface. We're going to use the mini USB. I'm going to connect to the PLC. The application is the same. Okay, so we can see here the input, the normally closed sensor, and I want to change this for the normally open. So click on this. And when I make a change, you can see that the rung is in orange. So it means that we have made a modification. And for example, if I want to go to another one, okay, I've received a message saying that you have made a modification on the rung that you have selected, in the rung two in this case, and it asks us to send information. And I'm going to press no. So it continue on this one. So imagine that I don't want to make this modification, I always can roll back. You can see this one was the previous. Okay, it's working fine. Okay, I can make this, it doesn't matter. So now we're going to make the change now from normally close to the normally open. Change, and what I need to do is to press the command send. So we can only send for per one rung, we cannot make modification in all the rungs, we just need to press on one, make the modification and then send. So, send, and there we go. I know line again, everything is working fine, I haven't made any, any modification. So, what happened here? Okay, we also had the possibility to make PC to controller and backup, but this is the message that we need to pay attention memory is not synchronized with non-volatile area. Click the backup button on the programming view to synchronize memory and non-volatile. So, what we need to do is not to re-download the application, it's just to send the program into the non-volatile area. Okay, this we can do like this or we just disconnect and we see this message. So, Pay attention here because if we select no in the next power cycle this is gonna is not going to be available it's gonna have the normally closed sensor okay so I'm going to select yes so the next time I connect to the PLC okay I can see this as a normally open so I'm going to select this login there will no need to download again the application because it's already in there. See here it's, it's identical. And you can see here the sensor is normally open. Let me just double check if I'm missing something. Okay, how I explain this? Okay, this is what I want you to do now. Make the modification, send the application to the PLC, look at power cycle and try to connect and validate that your application has already been changed as I show you before. So 
Now there are possibly a few questions that we can have. They are related to not being able to download the application into the controller. Um, probably are most regarding to wrong connection of the of the lines, okay? Wrong specification of the address or symbol, or it's possible that you can see the this later that we are trying to use an instance of a function block that it hasn't been created yet in our software. We are going to cover function blocks later, but this can be one of the options. Let me just show you the behavior. Just open this. So we are connected and now I'm going to delete this, leave it empty. As you can see, you have a cross in here. So we can tell you something about the program that you have and then I'm going to put that this and now we can specify this. Imagine um, instead of using the M or the memory bits, I'm going to use the letter N45. You can see there is something wrong in there. The N45 doesn't exist, but if I use, for example, the M45, it allows me. Okay, there is no error at all, even if I don't define this variable we can use it and download to the target so if i for example try to use a function block that i haven't created later uh, before you can see there is an error in there that is not located so this can be one of the errors that you have when you're trying to connect to the to the controller and let me just double check. Another thing, the last thing that I want to show you is the help because there is not only this, there are a lot of things that we can do in the online modification, but it's important to know the limitations. So let me just double check where's the help in this. So if you go to the help, you should know how to go to the help by right now. Here, help. We can go into the basic, probably this one is the latest one that I have, 1.2, basic, then you go to operating guide, developing, programming, debugging in online mode, and here, okay, we can see all the limitations that we can have, okay, everything is in here. So what you need to do? It is part login, made the modification, and everything. So, what I have shown you in this video is how to make the modifications, online modification. Okay, the thing that you need to know is that you need to make the modification only per rank. Okay, make the modification in the rank that you want, and then you can send the application, send that part of the application to the controller. If it's something wrong that you don't want to send that, you can always roll back to go to the previous part, uh, previous configuration, the previous code that you have, okay, before trying to send to the to the controller. And after you have made the send, it's important to upgrade the non-volatile memory area, okay? As I show you have, in the commission, you have the, the backup button, or you can just disconnect and then select yes. If you select no, then, then the next power cycle, the information that you have sent to the controller is going to be missed. So that is important for you to know. So this is all at the moment. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you in the next one.